Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Wallace and Gromit's Grand Adventures for more point and click adventure game action. We are back to savory, where we left to off. Preserved, and fresh to frozen. Vanier's peculiar produce has it all. Being interrupted Plus, by Mr. Penny. We also sell umbrellas, beach balls, indoor barbecue equipment. Lovely, yeah. And a full range of domestic fire extinguishers. Beautiful. Ooh, heavy. Boulder dash. I was only on her this morning. Oh, just over our limits, I'm afraid, Corporal Crumb. You must have piled on pounds since then. That blinking contest. And I'm a major, don't you know? Aye, a major liability. So, you're banned, for safety's sake. Perhaps go for a jog or summit, and work off some of that extra weight. Right, so we have to find a way of making him lighter, then. How are we going to do that? Uh, ooh, I wonder if we can use the balloons. Can we attach balloons to him or something? To make him lighter? A balloon, Major Crumb? Who doesn't love a festive balloon? Used to tie the old balloon to our knapsacks when we were in the long grass to distinguish ourselves from the enemy. Uh, <laughs> that doesn't sound a good idea. Right now. You might be right. I'm feeling lighter on my feet already. Iffy, okay. Wait limit pass. Queue up. You'll be next. Yes, okay, so it was the balloon. Yes. It's about time. Time's up, Constable. Still carrying out the inspection, Major. Wait your turn. Right, so we're going to have to find a way of getting him down from there. Uh, can we then, like I said last time, use an ice cream to entice him down? Or do we the need an Infinite item? The has been a rip-roaring success, but I can't sell any more cones until I free Gromit. Right, so that won't work. And remember, whether you want Bacora, pies, puddings, or... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hello, can you stop making announcements? Because I'm trying to talk, and you're getting... talking over me, and it's very annoying. <laughs> Um, do you have any ideas? Still slaving over a hot microphone, eh, Mr. Pinnear? I reckoned it were a good opportunity to spread the word about me shop. Next weekend, as purveyors of peculiar produce, we're having a sausage sale. Got to take the opportunity when you've got everyone's ear. <laughs> I suppose so, yeah. Uh, how do we get... Wait, where's the stairs? There we go. Uh, so we're going to need to find a way to get him down from there. Question is, how do we do and that? Remember, whether you want bacora, pies, puddings, or we... pomegranates, they're all available at Panier's peculiar produce. Just two minutes walk from this fairground. Can we click on him? I sort say, of, yeah. Cooey, Constable Dippins. Can't hear you. Carrying out a safety inspection of this ride's facilities. Woo! I think it's I'd safe. Like to a, uh, 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 um, missing canine report. Can't be interrupted, Wallace. Whee! Right, so that's not going to work then. Um, how are we going to do this? See, you have to give the ride a bit of a patch job, eh, Mr. Muzzle? The muzzler seems a bit bumpy. She was damaged during a speedy disassembly a few weeks back. Right, yeah. Had to pack her up in a hurry. <laughs> yes, I had to rush off to attend a tragedy in a cattery in the next town. Did you? Yes. Yeah. But Monty Muzzle's philanthropy won through in the end. Right. I'm sure it did. Um, okay, maybe there's something in town. Maybe we can do something at the prison to try and convince him to come back to the station or something I mean I don't know but maybe we've got to sort of commit a crime or something these dogs are in here what was that I don't suppose we can do anything with those guys good heavens uh, doesn't look like it alright so it's got to be something to do with the fair then hasn't it we don't have any items in our inventory anymore, though. So I wonder how we're going to get him down from there. Perhaps we can... 
I don't know. <laughs> Do something with one of the other machines with or something? The tiniest little lift, I'd be cleared for takeoff. With the tiniest lift. Oh. Okay. Can we take more balloons? A balloon's good for raising spirits. A balloon's good for raising spirits. Right, how many of these can we take? Right, only one. Okay. That's fine then. Can we... I wonder if we can then... Can we put enough on him that he floats up to it or something? A balloon, Major Crumb? Who doesn't love a festive balloon? Used to tie the old balloon to our knapsacks when we were in the long grass to distinguish ourselves from the enemy. Uh, perhaps you're ready for the ride now. You might be right. I'm feeling lighter on my feet already. Yeah, we already did that, right, so that didn't pass. work. You up? You'll be next. Hmm. Smashing! It's about time. Time's up, Constable. Still carrying out the inspection, Major. Wait your turn. No. Okay. Well, that's disappointing. Um. Hmm. An ear's peculiar produce. Can we go this way? Favorite foodstuffs and some you probably never knew existed. Can we do anything with this thing? Your duty is as neglected as an abandoned puppy. Oh, I've never abandoned from it. Ah, okay. Your hair could be mistaken for pirate's gold. Oh, well, uh, perhaps this one isn't for me. Oh, we're keeping those. Your home smells of a patch of mold. What? We've the odd bit, I know, but it's not that bad. How many of these can we get? Your duty is as neglected as an abandoned puppy. Oh, I've never abandoned from it. Oh, so is it? Right, so it looks like we can only get three of those. Oh, I shouldn't poke around behind any of Mr. Muzzle's attractions. Oh, no. Okay. Can we get another one, or is it... There could be mistaken for pirate's gold. Right, okay. Oh, well, uh, perhaps this one isn't for me. So do we have to give them to the people that... that it's about? Right, can we... From sweet to savoury, pickle to preserve, and fresh to frozen, Vanier's peculiar produce has it all. Plus... We also sell umbrellas, beach balls... Yeah, we know. We know you sell all this stuff. ...and a full range of domestic fire extinguishers. That doesn't make sense. But what? Giving it to them doesn't make sense. Not a particularly good idea. Oh, I wonder if... That one that says your duty is calling... I wonder if we have to give that to... Constable Dibbins. And remember, whether you want pakora, pies, puddings, Stop or going on. Granites, they're all available at Panier's Peculiar Produce. Just two minutes walk from this fairground. Your duty is as neglected as an abandoned puppy. Sorry, Wallace. Can't hear you. Oh, okay. <laughs> he can't hear us, so... Can we get Mr. Paneer to read that out? Because he's a lot louder with that microphone. Hello, Wallace. Uh, can you read this about the duty, please? Uh, a note, Mr. Paneer. Your duty is as neglected as an abandoned puppy. That's odd. Stop the ride! Yes, That's okay. Enough. Suppose I'd better get back to the station. Duty calls. That's right, yep. Duty Whoa. calls indeed. Tucked away! Cabin door, command you. Ready for takeoff. Blam! Yeah. It's gonna break. Major Crumb's carrying too much excess baggage. The ride's going to burst in seams. We've been hit. Oh, my giddy hands. 
Oh my! The dogs, they're Those out. Poor dogs were trapped inside of that dreadful machine the Robert, entire time. Robert, are you all right, lad? Where is that monster, Monty Muscle? He was just here a moment ago. Up, up and away. Hi, what are you doing? What is that? It's Monty Muscle. I'm down, money. I'm Twitch. Are Twitch is up there. Monty Muzzle stock is on the rise. This is no time to jettison the cream, Gromit. We don't do floats. What'll it be, lad? One scoop or two. Oh, okay, we can fly. <laughs> Good show, Muzzle, old chap. Not exactly what I planned, but a clean escape, nevertheless. A few quid and one unexpected runt richer. What do you say, boys? Think we can find work for this emaciated mongrel? That's what I thought. Okay, here we go. Is this the showdown again? Oh, nick your of glory! <laughs> got a head start, lad. We've got to find a way to close the gap. All right, let's have a look. Gromit, those lead line tires are costly, and they weigh a ton. Okay, so maybe we need to get rid of those somehow. Okay, we've still got all this stuff as well. Can we make any ice cream? Uh, churn. Scoop. What's this? We're going as fast as we can, lad. She just doesn't have the welly power. Uh, okay. What does this do? Nothing in there. Uh, okay. Can we go? So there's the tire. There's the balloon. Somebody stop that balloon! Uh, can we go up through here? Yes, we can. Okay. Uh. The hatch on the churning tank has sprung open. Right. How do we close it? Okay, we can take this out. But how do we... Do we have to close this? Unhygienic, that is. Anything could fall in there and soil the batch. Yeah, but how do we close it? The hatch on the churning tank has sprung open. Okay, um... What do we have? Can we put... That would only provide a bit of crunchiness. Oh yeah, good. Right, okay, so can we use the bubble gum then? Okay, that. Hmm. Oh, I can hear your gumball rolling around in there, lad. Right. So do we? Do we need to put that back on? Why did we have to take that off? I don't know. Maybe we need that for something else. Can we mix this up now? Uh, churn. Oh, right, I see. That's not in there. The crank needs to be in place for churning, Gromit. Yeah, I know, I know. I'm going to do it, Wallace. Calm down. As usual, it's me doing all the work again. Right, let's put the crank back in. We'll go back down here. We'll press the churn button. Okay, here we go. Ooh, look at that. The old churning arm had its work cut out with that badge. Whew, things are getting a bit sticky back there. I think that's the idea. Um, what does this do again? Scoop ice cream. Hey, looks like we've sold out of all our cones. That's good news. Ah! Oh, because the bubble gum. Hey, now he's up a gum tree. We'll catch him now. Ah, <laughs> yes, we're going to catch him. Uh. Crikey, we're still not close enough to rescue Twitch. Okay, damn it. Uh, what else can we do then? Can we get rid of this wheel somehow? 
Oh, I wonder if we can shoot it with this. No. Can we can we fire it again? What happens if we do serve? Oh, it's the same thing. Huh? Right, let's try it again. Let's see if it works. Oh, we won't. I think it's going to be all chewing gum from here on. Well, that's kind of the idea, isn't it? So what do we want to do? No, that doesn't work. Churn? That churn didn't work, did it? I think it's going to be all chewing gum from here on. So what do we have to do? Take this off because it's heavy? Careful, Gromit. Those lead line tyres are costly and they weigh a ton. Right, so we can't shoot it. Can we use the thing on the roof? Because this comes off. Right, so can we use that to remove the tyre? Let's give it a go. Ah, <laughs> yes, I think we can. Okay, there go the wheels. Now we're just flying. Now we've shed some pounds. I wonder what could have been that heavy. We puncture free lead line tires. Those didn't come cheap, you know. We can get them from the floor, How don't worry. Going to land without any undercarriage? Huh. That's a good question, actually. <laughs> didn't think of that. I've got my engine, will they? I can still outrun them with the wind at my back. <laughs> hey, hey, they've run out of lift. Ah, sorry, my little twitching bag of bones, but no one's coming to save you now. You were saying? <sighs> okay, so... Right, Grummit's gonna... Oh, the money. You're going with that? Eh, fine then. Let go. Escape me, a flea-ridden friend. Right, okay. Can we rescue him? So near yet so far. Okay, can we use the plush bunny? Right, that didn't work. It's too far. Uh the money stays. Right, so none of that's working. Let can we do something with the chickens? Talk about feeling peckish, they're famished. Right, okay, so can we do something with the seeds then? No. Uh, I don't really see what else we can do. That doesn't work. Can we... Come off it, runt. You don't stand a cat's chance in hell. Best keep that bird seed away from Twitch. Those chickens look ravenous. Oh. <laughs> okay. Can we use the bird seeds with Monty then? Yes, okay, we can. The birds are going to go for him then. Easy, Get him, chickens. Easy. You've already been fed today. Ow. Get away. Get, Get him. Away. Peck him. Now, listen, chickens. <gasps> he's gone. Oh, he's still... Of course he is. He's hanging on. Peck his fingers. Let's go, Twitch. Come on, Twitch. Let's go. Forget about the money. Careful, Gromit. Please, please, uh, someone call off the chickens. No. That's it. The chickens are, are your friends now, mate. Uh, can we use the plush bunny to do it? That didn't work. Okay. Uh, right, can we... No. Served our last scoop of useful ice cream, lad. Uh, can we use the arm thing on it? Right, okay, yes, we did it. Lucky grab, Gromit. Let's get out of here. Whoa. Oh, no. Too many, lad. Oh, God, he's wearing it down as well. Oh, no, Gromit. Brace for 
Oh god. Help Gromit. Oh no. Stash has gone flat. Oh god, what is going on? Steady Gromit looks dangerous. You could get your paws nipped or worse. Okay, um what the hell? Can we get this thing? Yes, we can. All right. Don't lose that arm, Gromit. Nothing a little blue can't fix. Yeah. Okay. W what else can we get? Can we get the money? Yeah, we can. Feel from me, Monty Muzzle. That's not how it works, Sunshine. I mean, it sort of is. What the hell are we supposed to do here? No. Balloon's got no lift. Uh, okay. Can. can we use the arm? Why is Monty no, flying? Muzzle's mustache is a poor parachute. Uh, all right. Oh, ch hello, chicken. Can we? Can we use it on the money? Right, we can. Give that back right now. It's mine now. Um, right. Can we? No. Can we use this on here? I'm trying. Right, that didn't work. Can we use the bag of money on it? We can. If you want your master to take you for walkies ever again, you'll be very careful with that. Careful, I said. We'll see. Oh, oh the money. money! Oh, my beautiful money! He let go of the thing. Help. We're still falling, lad. <laughs> oh my god, this is insane. Can I get this thing? I can. Right. I know. I'm trying. Uh, do we use this again to like fly away? We could do with some more air. It should hold us for just long enough. They might have flown to Right, okay, I think we did it. Suffocated in the atmosphere. Happened to many a bomber in the war. And all to save a poor defenseless puppy. Who would have thought Wallace was so selfless and brave? Aye, but more importantly, that blinking fairground felon still got our cash. He's due a soak in the mouth and a kick <laughs> in the head. Honestly, Duncan, the last thing we need is more violence. We need heroes. Look, by his use his beard. Here we are. <laughs> On that? It's a giant mustache. Ah, I've seen bigger. <laughs> You're alive! Uh, yes, and saved by a whisker. Something of a close shave, eh, Gromit? <laughs> <laughs> ah! <laughs> Lucky that bed was there. Oh, he's in prison with the dogs. <laughs> and he hates dogs and they're the worst dogs ever. <laughs> Oh God! These poor pups won't go homeless after all, Gromit. Me and Mr. Gadley would be thrilled to take them in. No, we wouldn't. Pipe down, your misery guts! Great! <laughs> Yet another mouth to feed. Three mouths. Oh no! <laughs> anyway, Gromit, feel free to pop by for walkies any time you like. Thank you. Your friends will always be here. Oh, that little one's quite the hero. Have to keep him out of trouble from now on. Wallace! Oh, that was a feat of incredible bravery. Oh, it, it was, was but it was really Gromit. Really. All in a day's work for Gromit and me. Couldn't let Muzzle run off with our Twitch now, could we? A man like you is one in a million, Oh, Wallace. God. Your courage, your... Selflessness, your aerial acrobatics. You could have been killed, yet you saved the poor whippets, apprehended the monstrous Monty Muzzle, and saved everyone's fortunes. 
Yeah. You're a true hero to the town. Oh, um, well, uh, um, thank you very much, Miss Flit. Mm hmm. Uh, now, if only I could find the piece I that I feel the... a little awkward asking you this, Wallace. Oh, but no. I was wondering. With a bit of elbow grease, I'm sure Gromit and I can help this up and <laughs> He's just again not interested. Wallace, I. I have a proposal for no, you. I wonder where this goes. Oh, oh no. Yes, yes. A proposal and a ring. Oh no. <laughs> oh, oh, shocking. I beg your pardon, Miss Flint. Oh, I'm so polite. Now, calm yourself, Felicity. Will I, Felicity Flint, marry you, Wallace? Oh no. Now, pull yourself together, Felicity, my girl. You mustn't rush into this. I'm honored that you would have me as your bride, Wallace. But. I must think it over. I shall give you my answer within the week. Hopefully it's a no. <laughs> oh dear. Well, there it is. The end of episode three. That was a really good one. I really loved that. I think that could well be my favourite one so far, actually. I really liked episode one. Episode two was okay-ish. I mean, it's good, but not as good as episode one. But I really enjoyed this. And that, that finale scene was really cool as well with the the flying around in the sky and everything. I mean, it's utterly bizarre, but just really, really good fun. And now Wallace has gone and somehow accidentally proposed to Felicity as well, so... <laughs> God. A very close shave indeed, as Wallace said. Um, but yeah, Monty ends up in jail with the two horrible dogs, which is going to be an awful sentence for him, isn't it? This one was really good fun. We've got one more to go, one more episode. Uh, I can't remember what it's called actually, but we'll start that one in the next video. So, I can't wait to play it. I really can't wait to play it. It's a shame this game's coming to an end because I've had so much fun playing this so far. Uh, but, you know, we've got one more to go. We're going to enjoy every second of it. And that's where I'll leave it for this one. I'll let the credits roll as always. So as always guys, thank you very much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, click on that like button. It really does help the channel to grow, so I do appreciate it. Make sure you hit that subscribe button and the notification bell if you're new, or just haven't already done so. And I'll see you all next time.